It is uh, 6 p.m. on the 23rd day of March, 2016. I call this meeting to order United ISD School District Board of Trustees to order. Mr. Oliveros, could you please call roll? Uh, yes, Mr. Ramiro Velis. Present. Mr. Javier Montemayor. Present. Juan Roberto Ramirez. Mr. Rick Rodriguez. Present. Mr. Ricardo Molina. Here. Present. Elisa Ali Oliveros, present. And Mr. Jed Gilpin. Present. We have a quorum. Let the record show that we have a quorum of board members is, is present and that the meeting has been duly called. And notice of this meeting has been posted in accordance with the Texas Open Meeting Act. Uh, can we please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? The, I'll give you a moment of silence, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one faith, the God, one two board announcements. Agenda number three, public comments. Is there public comments? Yes, we have one, we have one sir. The public comments are limited to three minutes per speaker. The board preliminary will be the timekeeper and will inform the speakers when they are, have one minute remaining. No more than three persons will be allowed to speak on any side of the issue. Should there be more than three speakers who wish to speak, on a particular issue, they should need to select not more than three representatives to speak for them. Comments, policies, or agendas, items will be heard in open session. Complaints, concerns against employees regarding students shall be directed through appropriate channels. Presiding officer or designee shall determine whether a person who wishes to address the board has attempt to solve matter administratively. If any person shall be directly to appropriate policy as noted as BED local is seeking resolution before bringing the matter to the board. At subsequential meetings pursuant to 55.042 member of the public unless such responses recited of this policy, district policy or indicate what agenda item will be addressing. Furthermore, please refrain from resp uh, responsibility should be channeled through the appropriate grievance. Policy additionally pursuant to the board policy BED local legal bed, local thrifty president, a second violation of resulting forfeiture of your allotted time and removal of the board meeting. Disruption includes speaking on behalf of against a person running for political office, promoting or of for, pro for a profit organization advertisement of products of service to the board. Mr. Raul Reyes. Good evening, honorable members uh, of the UISD Board of Trustees. Raul Reyes, El Ceniso, Mayor for the record. Uh, I am actually here to speak in reference to item 8B. Um, which is a uh, consideration to waive um, some delinquent taxes uh, that are owed to not only UISD but also to the city of El Ceniso and Webb County. Um, we've identified this particular uh, property 
as one of the best alternatives that the city currently um, sees best fit to construct a learning center. Um, now, as you may know, it's been 14 years since the people of our community have been promised a library. And for whatever reasons, um, we've been unable to uh, deliver, and this is um, partly because of the funds that have been earmarked for this project by the Lamar Bruni Vergara Trust, $150,000. Um, that are currently in possession of, of Webb County. And because the project seemed to be unrealistic with um, that amount of money, the city underwent um, our own uh, prerogative to um, visit with different contractors, and uh, we were fortunate to find one uh, to be able to construct this learning center um, in which I have provided copies of the uh, proposed finished uh, project, um, roughly at an estimate of $147,000. Um, so it's uh, right there within the budget allocated. Um, again, Webb County has nothing to do with this project. This is a uh, city project. Uh, the, only, um, the only matter that Webb County has is that they're actually uh, the trustees uh, right now of uh, the funds. And um, one of the issues that was raised uh, prior to a resolution that the city passed was that um, the property um, would only be used for uh, library purposes, and we've actually um, passed a resolution. We forwarded a copy to uh, the county attorney's office at the same time to the executive administrator for the Webb County Commissioner's Court, Mr. Leroy Mefford. Uh, the county judge actually has a copy of said resolution, and I'll be more than happy to forward a copy um, um, to UISD as well. Um, you know, this uh, project that would not only benefit the uh, children of El Ceniso, but also the children and parents of uh, our neighboring community, Rio Bravo. Uh, I think it sends a very strong message uh, to support initiatives like this that not only empowers communities, but also <laughs> it lets our children know and our future generations that we believe in them and more so that we're able to provide uh, opportunities for our parents um, not only to learn English but at the same time become aware with the different uh, technologies available out there to be able to, to assist their children <laughs> in um, schoolwork and also it helps our high school students and middle school students with uh, being able to find a place locally uh, to do their homework, conduct research. Um, we've partnered up with the Laredo Daybreak Rotary and also with Doctors Hospital of um, Laredo. And um, we're in communication as we speak with Laredo Community College to do some type of community outreach projects within uh, the facility. So again, um, I hope that you consider um, item 8B and approve it so we can move forward with the construction of a library that has been promised for over 14 years now. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Rivera. Agenda item number 4A. Recognitions. Yes, uh, Mr. Rodriguez, members of the board, it's time in the agenda that we recognize our employees, students, and again our community. If the board can join me up front, uh, we'd like to Proceed with recognition. Good evening, uh, Mr. Santos, uh, Ms. Rodriguez, members of the board. Uh, tonight, we'd like to recognize the Instructional Television Department for winning 43 star video awards in the Texas School Public Relations Association, TSPRA, video competition. For seven years in a row, United ITV has a distinction. <laughs> For seven years in a row, United ITV has the distinction of winning more TSPRAS awards than any other instructional television department in the state of Texas. This year, the ITV department entered 43 videos in competition and we're proud to say that all entries received awards. The ITV department would like to thank the school board and administration for giving them the equipment, facility, and staff to succeed. 
UISD competes in the largest division against school districts with a student population of 30,000 or more. Congratulations. And next we have from John B. Alexander, 16-year-old, 10th grader, Eros Rangel. Eros, um, as you see, uh, he is sporting the gold medallion for receiving a first division and outstanding soloist at the 2015 Texas State Solo and Ensemble Contest held at the University of Texas. We'd like to have Mr. Enrique Rangel, Associate Superintendent, as well come up. We'll, we'll get some pictures for you. Uh, his father, Mr. Rangel, is here, our associate superintendent. And as they get ready with the picture, I'd just like to read a few of the other accomplishments that Eros had. Besides receiving this great honor, being only one of two classical pianists being selected in the entire state of Texas, he has also been receiving honorable mention award at the Texas Young Artist Piano Competition at Texas State. He also won recognition as a finalist at the Baylor University Texas Music Teacher Piano Competition. He also won the 2016 Chopin Society 12th International Youth Piano Competition in Corpus Christi. He also was awarded the 2015 Judge's Choice by the San Antonio uh, Music Texas Association. And he was awarded the 2015 Student in the Greatest Pianist class by the Baylor University piano faculty. Eros Rangel, of course, is uh, following the footsteps of his older brother, Enrique. We congratulate you, congratulate the Alexander staff, Mr. Sandoval, principal. Great job. <laughs> Members of the board, Mr. Santos, members of the audience, at this time I'm very happy to recognize Ms. Alejandra Guadalupe Flores, who was a valedictorian of the United South High School class of 2015 and who is currently attending the Red McCombs School of Business at the University of Texas, studying accounting in the Business Honors Program. Alejandra was recognized this fall at the Texas Migrant Educators of Texas State Conference held in San Antonio on November, uh, November 2015. Alejandra was one of five honorees selected from 140 student nominees, and she was the only valedictorian in this group. Um, Alejandra could not be here this evening, but we have her parents, her mother and her sister accepting on Alejandra's behalf. I would also like to ask is United South High School administration present to also attend?
Yes. We, she, so she couldn't be here. We're going to show you a video of her accepting her award at the conference. Good morning. It is an honor to be recognized as a 2015 Exemplary Migrant Student. I feel an immense amount of appreciation and gratitude towards all those who have helped me maintain sight of what is important, my education. As a migrant student, many challenges arise when deciding if to stay another month and work in the plantations or if to go back home to get back in time for the first day of class. And sometimes sacrifices have to be made. There was times when my family would travel only to have to return back home without any money because there weren't any jobs. The camps we stayed in weren't made for the Texas heat, with no AC and only two rooms for the seven of us. And working from dusk until dawn under the burning sun would exhaust us all. My summers were very different from most of my peers, but I understood it was all for a reason. I have two great parents who have always pushed me to receive a higher education, and I am now the first person in my family to go to college. Gracias, mamá. Y gracias, papá. <laughs> the transition hasn't been easy, but since I was in middle school, the migrant program has always been there for support, and I would like to specifically thank Ms. Veronica Burgoa and Ms. Rosa Maria Gonzalez. They are both amazing individuals with a passion for what they do, and it is inspiring to see them make a change in the lives of many students such as myself. It is because of people like them and my parents' support that I am now one step closer towards the path of my future goals. I am a part of the Business Honors Program at the University of Texas at Austin, where I plan to major in its number one ranked program in the nation, accounting. One day I hope to use my passions to make an so it's making a change in this world and in the lives of families, just like the migrant program has done for mine. My advice to migrant students are three very important words Ms. Burgoa would always say to me. Break the cycle. A field is not a place for children to be in, but many families do not have a choice. It is a necessity in order for us to put food on our table. The only way to end the cycle of generations of families working in the fields is by going to school and focusing on getting a career. It is time we break the cycle and make all the sacrifices and obstacles we have overcome worth it. Make our families and supporters proud. Thank you. Good evening, board members and Mr. Santos. I am very proud to announce the recipient of the America's Teachers Program Award, Lori Rodriguez from United South High School. Ms. Rodriguez received a grant of the $2,500 from the Farmers Insurance. Congratulations, Ms. Rodriguez. Good evening. It is with great pleasure to introduce to you distinguished visual art and cheer members of our UISD elementary, middle, and high school families. I begin with JB Alexander High School art students, Gabriela Arambula, 11th grade first place, division four, and Rebecca Gonzalez, 11th grade honorable mention, division four. In the Texas Department of Transportation Aviation Art Contest state winners for the Air Sports in Harmony with Nature International Art Contest, sponsored by the National Aeronautic Association. Both students will be honored at the upcoming TexDOT State Aviation Convention and their work advances to the national level. Entries in each age group were judged and state winners and runners up were selected. Winners will receive a certificate and recognition from the state of Texas. 
the top three entries in each age group are forwarded to Washington, D.C. to be judged in the national competition. Their R teacher is Nancy Poinsot, and their principal is Mr. Ernesto Sandoval, Jr., along with the Alexander High School staff members. Congratulations to both Gabriela Arambula and Rebecca Gonzalez. We continue with the J.B. Alexander High School art students. This time we have the Visual Arts Scholastic Event Vase Gold Medalist in Division IV Regional Competition. Andrea Covarrubias, Benjamin Lona, Nora Castillo, Sally Garcia, and Leonardo Gonzalez. These Alexander High School students competed in Vase in McAllen, Texas last month, and five student entries won gold medals in Division IV in the regional competition. One student advanced to the state competition. State qualifies Vase artwork sweet genities by Alexander Senior Benjamin Lona, watercolor and ink on paper. The 2016 state base competition will be held April the 22nd to the 23rd of 2016 at James Madison High School, Northeast ISD, San Antonio, Texas. Their art teacher is Erica Buenteo and their principal is Mr. Ernesto Sandoval Jr. along with the Alexander High School staff. Congratulations to these very, very talented students. Now we go to our cheer family. From Borchers Elementary, we have the Borchers Elementary cheer team. They are the first place winners in the Texas Cheerleading Com Championships and national champions at American Cheer Power, also known as Southern Nationals. They won February the 5th, 6th of 2016. They competed against four other schools and came out victorious. They really put out lots of hours of practice to accomplish this championship. Their coach is Veronica Lopez and their principal is Musia Flores. Congratulations to the Borchers Elementary Cheer Team. And another round of applause for Borchers Elementary, a big cheer for them. Good job, girls. We are very proud this evening to acknowledge the uh, dedication and hard work of all of our campuses with all of our Math B participants this year. I do want to take this opportunity to give a special thanks to Mrs. Susan Carlson and her ITV, uh, United ITV uh, department who really came through for all of us, for all of our parents. Parents, uh, you should have received a DVD uh, with the entire uh, Math B competition. Thanks to our ITV department. Thank you very much, Ms. Carlson, for providing that for each of our parents. Every single campus winner received one. So thank you very much. At this time, we will start off with our second grade division winners. And we begin with our third place winner, Joaquin Saragosa from Borchers Elementary. And he is joined by his teacher, Ms. Gracie Perez, and proud principal, Ms. Musia Flores.
Well done, Joaquin. And in second place from Killam Elementary, congratulations to Carolina Sanchez. And she is joined by her proud principal, Mr. Paliso. And we'll be uh, providing a short clip of the, uh, the math bees on our website. So you all can look forward to seeing that. Kids did a fa fantastic job. Congratulations again, Carolina Sanchez. And in first place, from Troutman Elementary, Alejandro Cruz. Congratulations. He is joined by his counselor, Ms. Elsa Gutierrez, and his teacher, Ms. Berta Dovalina. These are our second graders, small bodies with big brains. Congratulations. Well done, second graders. We look forward to seeing you compete next year. In our third grade division, congratulation goes out to our winner from Roosevelt Elementary, Montserrat Rojas, in third place. Joined by her proud principal, Ms. Sylvia Ruiz. Well done, Montserrat, congratulations. In second place, Alan Guardiola, congratulations from Troutman Elementary. And he is joined by Ms. Ovalina and Ms. Gutierrez. Well done, Alan. Congratulations to you. And in first place from Colonel Santos Benavides, Kayan Nan. He is joined by his proud teacher, Ms. Julie De Leon, and proud principal, Dr. Mirta Villarreal. A first place smile. Congratulations. And again, third graders, we look forward to seeing you compete next year. In our fourth and fifth grade division, our third place winner is from Newman Elementary, Miabella Rubio. Congratulations to you. Congratulations again. And now in second place, we have Emmanuel Valero from Faskin Elementary. Thank you. 
And if I may mention, our fourth and fifth grade division winners truly outlasted in comparison to last year's winners. So our students are getting better and better. So I know our middle schools are looking forward to that. Congratulations, Emmanuel. And our first place winner from Troutman Elementary, Raimundo Capetillo, in first place. Congratulations to you. He really had to fight and compete for that first place. Did an outstanding job. Our three top winners in the fourth and fifth grade division were very competitive. To finish off our recognitions, we have the Antonio Gonzalez Middle School Cheer Team. They are the national champions in Advanced Non-Tumbling Division Cheer Power Southern National Championships, held on February the 5th through the 6th, 2016 at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. They are also the first place winners in the Advanced Non-Tumbling Division and Best Jumps in the TAMU 4th Annual Cheer Competition. The team competed this past weekend, March 19th, at the MCDA Cheer Championships at Six Flags Fiesta Texas in San Antonio, Texas, and won first place in the advanced non-tumbling division and overall best choreography. Their coach is Ana Silva Ruiz and their principal is Patricia Perez. Congratulations to all our students. Congratulations. Good evening, parents, teachers, students, and community members. It is with great pride that we would like to acknowledge UISD's National Hispanic Scholars tonight. These students have excelled in their studies while enrolled in our high schools, and they truly exemplify scholarship and academic excellence. A total of 23 United ISD high school students earned the award from the National Hispanic Recognition Program off the College Board. The program identifies academically outstanding Hispanic Latino high school students. To be eligible for this award, students must meet the following requirements. Take the PSAT and MSQT in October of their junior year in high school, be at least one quarter Hispanic Latino descent, achieve the minimum required PSAT and MSQT selection index score, achieve a cumulative grade point average of 3.0 or higher by the end of their junior year. The first group of students includes from J.B. Alexander High School, Principal Ernesto Sandoval and his uh, administration. The students are Alejandra Canales, Alexis Gonzalez, Alejandro Gonzalez, Mario Gonzalez, Alejandro Guerrero, Nisha Lakiani, Nadia Jimenez, Aisha Mohamed, Ari Montemayor, Ana Morales, Ronald Christian Rodriguez, and Alina Rogerio, congratulations.
And now we have the student Rebecca Guerrero from United South High School. Adriana Ramirez, principal and her administration. Congratulations. Congratulations to our National Hispanic Scholars and their parents. Students, teachers, and parents, thank you for your support. Congratulations once again for setting the example of scholarship and academic excellence in our district. United High School will be recognized at our next board meeting. Thank you. Number five. Uh, yes, Mr. President, the Business and Instructional Committee uh, met last week, Tuesday, March the 15th, and discussed the uh, consent agenda items. I make a motion for approval of uh, item A through letter K. Second. I have a first and I have a second. All in favor? Motion passes. Agenda item number six, approval for minutes of, for the month of February, March 2016. Make a motion for Just approval February. of minutes for February, March 2016. Second. The modification is just uh, February this month, um, uh, board members, and then we'll bring back um, March at a later time. Okay, so the motion would be only to approve uh, February. February. Do I have a motion to approve only February? The first I'm going to correct their motion Second. just for the month of February. For the Second. I have a motion for to approve. to approve February. All those in favor? Uh, item 6B, approval of donations. Yes, Mr. Rodriguez, members of the board. Uh, it is recommended that the board trustees graciously accept the following donation, and they will be attached to the minutes. We have one donation uh, from Muller Elementary, receive a donation from Rack Room Shoes for a total of $2,177.27. Donation will be used for students' uh, footwear and backpacks. And again, we want to thank uh, the Rack Room Shoes for helping our students. A motion? Want you to accept? Second. All those in favor? Motion passed. Item 6C, Sir, you want me? one educational service center edu election of board of directors. Yeah. Is there a two percent motion regarding approval of donations as presented? I'd like to nominate George Buckelheimer. That's a nomination. Second. All in favor? Motion passes. Uh, agenda item six seven, closed session. Uh, the board will adjourn to into closed session pursuant to section five five one point zero one five five one point zero seven two five five one point zero seven four and five five. 1.076 of the Texas Governor Code uh, to discuss in the agenda item 7, A, B, and C, and D. We'll be back in about uh, one hour. We can bring it from closed session. The time is now 7.45. And the board will take appropriate action on items if necessary, as discussed in closed session. Mr. President, members of the board, the recommendation is to reject the offered settlement in regard to parent student grievances filed by RRMR and CVVV as presented in closed session. No motion. So Move. Motion. Second. Second. All those in favor? Recommendation on agenda item 8B is to recommend to authorize legal counsel to continue to work on moving forward 
with a possible transfer of real property, Lot 25, Block 3, El Ceniso Unit 2, El Ceniso, Webb County, Texas, or more commonly known as 510 Rodriguez, El Ceniso, Texas, in the amount of $28,793.73 to the City of El Ceniso, Texas, with the understanding and agreement that the City of El Ceniso will use said real property to build a city library. Do you have a motion? So move. I'm first and a second. Second. All in favor? Understood. Recommendation on agenda item 8C is to uh, reject the claim of CR on behalf of LR as presented in closed session. Do I have a motion for that? I move. Motion. Second. All in favor? Motion to adjourn. Yeah, I do have one more that uh, I think we uh, skipped over. I'm sorry about that. That's the approval of request from board member in regard to the use of board discretionary funds for various projects and campuses. Um, that's, that needs to be uh, acted on. I think we may have skipped over it inadvertently. Mr. Sunila? Mr. President, uh, members of the board, there's one additional, besides the uh, requests that are in your packet, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, there's one more additional discretionary funds request uh, requested by the poli our UISD Police Department. Uh, Chief Camarillo requested it, sponsored by Ms. Alicia Oliveros, uh, Flores Oliveros. It's for the purchase of traffic wands for department personnel to direct traffic in the early morning hours, since at this time it's very dark in the, in the mornings, and they just want to be, uh, make sure they're safe. The estimated cost of the request is $2,150. Motion to approve. Do I have a motion? Second. Second. Motion to approve. Motion passes. Motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Second.